Hey you guys, welcome back to FedBiz Exchange. I'm Michelle Brown, your coach and your mentor. Today I want to talk to you about some challenges that many 8A firms have once they get into the program. Here are the three biggest mistakes 8A firms make. And this is why 76% or more of the 8As don't win any contracts before they graduate. Yep, you heard that right. You can get in this great program, which I do believe it's great, but nobody tells you the truth and nobody tells you the secrets and nobody talks to you about the mistakes so that you can have a successful 8A journey. But I'm going to tell you before you apply for your 8A what you need to do. So here's why 76% of all 8A firms don't win any contracts. And remember this, there are only about 6,500 8A firms around the country. So it's not like it's hundreds of thousands. This is a very small group, but a very large portion of them do not win any contracts. And let's talk about why first. So what happens is businesses believe that it's a business development program. And it is, factually. In the FAR, it says that it is. They believe when they get in, they're going to have guaranteed contracts, meaning someone is going to help them get contracts. That is a myth. Is someone supposed to help them? That is the truth. But they are not guaranteed contracts. And right now, A-Days are not getting the help that they need the way that they need it as timely as they need it. Everyone listens to the hype about being in the program, but when they get in, it's nothing like what they were told. You're going to work your hiney off once you get in the 8A program, but I can tell you how not to do that. There are some things you can learn before you get in so that you can hit the ground running. And the people that I teach before they get into 8A or get their 8A, I help them to understand Getting your 8A is easier than you think because after you get in, if you don't do what I'm teaching you and trying to help you understand that you need to do, you're going to struggle and you're going to waste nine years with no contracts, with zero contracts. If you get one or two, that's still not good. You have the ability and the chance to get to be a double digit, multi million dollar company, even a triple digit for some. But if you don't do what you're supposed to do, you will never even make one or two contracts. Number two, they don't check, meaning the small businesses don't check to see what the government is buying in their industries. It's what I teach you when you want to start doing government contracts. All you have to do is start doing it while you're applying to get in the program so that you can win a contract here or there. It will make your life so much easier you will know exactly what to do. And nobody's going to tell you. I know you think that government people are supposed to do that, but I'll tell you why they don't. Know your buyers before you get into the program. Yes, that means doing your due diligence with your NACE codes and your PSC codes. It's very simple. You could save yourself so much time and heartache. And I literally mean heartache because so many A-Days get out and graduate so disappointed and so disgusted that that time was wasted. So you need to learn how to fish. You need to learn how to do this before you get into the program. It takes you almost a year to six months to get in. You may as well start before you get in, but find out where and who your buyers are for your specific industry. Number three, they don't learn government contracting. I'm teaching you guys this and you're doing the right thing if you're serious about government contracting. 8A people, nobody ever told them what to learn before they got in. They just heard about the 8A program and they wanted in because people don't know. And there are a lot of people that tell you to get in. They don't even know what the 8A is, not to mention they've never had an 8A, not to mention they don't even know how to do federal contracting. So do your homework. Don't believe 
that you can depend on the government or the SBA. All government does is gives you the great programs. You have to work them. If you don't work them, you won't win anything. You will just be frustrated and say the system doesn't work. When in actuality, the system does work. It's the people in the system that may not work. But the system itself, it works. And I can vouch for that. A lot of SA, uh, SBA people, they never owned a business. They know nothing about business. So don't expect them to understand you and what your needs are. You create money from nothing. They get a paycheck, understandably so. The worst part is 99%, probably 99.9% .9 of the employees at the SBA, great people, wonderful people, nice people, but they can't tell you a single thing about how to win government contracts. So do yourself a, a favor if you're aspiring, which I know a lot of you are, aspiring to get your A-Day, -day, be ready. Learn everything you can so you can hit the ground running as soon as you get it. Because guess what? If you're asking for it, you'll probably get it. But you won't win anything from having it. And it'll all go to waste over a nine-year period. Because these three things will make you so frustrated. Waiting for somebody to help you, thinking someone is going to help you, and they're not. You're going to have to manage this process, and it helps for you to know what you're doing. So get with it.